In the 1930s, people were very naive, even to the point of ignorance. The masses were like sheep waiting to be led by the few in power. They did not challenge authority. If the news was in print or on the radio, they believed it had to be true. They told their children, and their children grew up to be the parents of the baby boomers. On April 14, 1937, the Prohibitive Marijuana Tax Law, or the bill that outlawed hemp, was directly brought to the House Ways and Means Committee. This committee is the only one that can introduce a bill to the House floor without it being debated by other committees. The chairman of the Ways and Means, Robert Doughton, was a DuPont supporter. He ensured that the bill would pass Congress. Dr. James Woodward, a physician and attorney, testified too late on the behalf of the American Medical Association. He told the committee that the reason the AMA had not denounced the marijuana tax law sooner was that the association had just discovered that marijuana was hemp. Few people at the time realized that the deadly menace that they had been reading about on Hearst's front page was in fact passive hemp. The AMA understood cannabis to be a medicine found in numerous healing products sold over the last hundred years. In September of 1937, hemp became illegal. The most useful crop known became a drug and our planet has been suffering ever since. Congress banned hemp because it was said to be the most violence-causing drug known. Ansingler, head of the Drug Commission for 31 years, promoted the idea that marijuana made users act extremely violent. In the 1950s, under the com communist threat of McCarthyism, Ansingler now said the exact opposite. Marijuana will pacify you so much that soldiers would not want to fight. Today our planet is in, a desperate, is in desperate trouble. Earth is suffocating as large tracts of rainforest disappear. Pollution, poisons, and chemicals are killing people. These great problems could be reversed if we industrialized hemp. Natural biomass could provide all the planet's energy needs that are currently supplied by fossil fuels. We have consumed 80% of our oil and gas reserves. We need a renewable resource. Hemp could be the solution to soaring gas prices. Hemp has a higher quality fiber than wood fiber. Far fewer caustic chemicals are required to make paper from hemp than from trees. Hemp paper does not turn yellow and is very durable. The plant grows quickly to maturity in a season where trees take a lifetime. All plastic products should be made from hemp seed oil. Hemp and plastics are biodegradable. Over time they would break down and not harm the environment. Oil-based plastics, the ones we are very familiar with, help ruin nature. They do not break down and will do great harm in the future. The process to produce the vast array of natural plastics will not ruin the rivers as DuPont and other petrochemical companies have done. Ecology does not fit in with the plans of the oil industry and the political machine. Hemp products are safe and natural. Medicine should be made from hemp. We should go back to the days when the uh, AMA supported cannabis cures. Medical marijuana is given out legally to only a handful of people while the rest of us are forced into a system that relies on chemicals. Pot is only healthy for the human body. World hunger could end. A large variety of food products can be generated from hemp. The seeds contain one of the highest sources of protein in nature. Also they have two essential fatty acids that clean your body of cholesterol. These essential fatty acids are not found anywhere else in nature. Consuming pot seeds is the best thing you could do for your body. Eat uncooked hemp seeds. Clothes should be made from hemp. Hemp clothing is extremely strong and durable over time. You could hand clothing made from pot down to your grandchildren. Today there are American companies that make hemp clothing, usually about 50% hemp. Hemp fabric should be everywhere, instead they are almost underground. Superior hemp products are not allowed to advertise on fascist television. Kentucky, once the top hemp producing state, made it illegal to wear hemp clothing. Can you imagine being thrown into jail for wearing quality jeans? The world is crazy. But that does not mean that you have to join the insanity. Get together, spread the news, tell people, and then include your children, the truth. Use hemp products, eliminate the word marijuana, realize the history that created it. Make it politically incorrect to say or print the M word. Fight against propaganda designed to favor the agenda of the super rich and the bullshit. Hemp must be utilized in the future. We need a clean energy source to save our planet. The liquor, tobacco, and oil companies fund more than a million dollars a day to the Partnership for a Drug-Free America and other similar agencies. We have all seen their commercials. 
Now their motto is, it's more dangerous than we thought. Lies from the powerful corporations that began with Hearst are still alive and well today. The brainwashing continues. Now the commercials say, if you buy a joint, you contribute to murders and gang wars. The latest anti-pot commercials say, if you buy a joint, you are promoting terrorism. The new enemy has paved the road to brainwash you any way they see fit. There is only one enemy. The friendly people you pay your taxes to. The war makers and nature destroyers. With your funding, they are killing the world right in front of your eyes. Half a million deaths each year are caused by tobacco. Half a million deaths each year are caused by alcohol. No one has ever, ever died from smoking pot. In the entire history of the human race, not one death can be attributed to cannabis. Our society has outlawed grass but condones the use of the killers, tobacco, and alcohol. Hemp should be declassified and placed in drugstores to relieve stress. Hardening and constriction of the arteries are bad, but hemp usage actually enlarges the arteries, which is a healthy condition. We have been so conditioned to think that smoking is harmful, that is not the case for passive pot. Ingesting THC, hemp's active agent, has a positive effect, relieving asthma and glaucoma. A joint tends to alleviate the nausea caused by chemotherapy. You are able to eat on hemp. This is a healthy state of being. The stereotype for a pothead is similar to a drunk, bubble brain. Yet the truth is one's creative abilities can be enhanced under its influence. The perception of time slightly slows and one can become more sensitive. You can more appreciate all arts, be closer to nature and generally feel more under the influence of cannabis. It is, in fact, the exact opposite state of mind and body as the drunken state. You can be more aware with pot. The pot plant is an alien plant. There is physical evidence that cannabis is not like any other plant on this planet. One could conclude that it was brought here for the benefit of humanity. Hemp is the only plant where the males appear one way and the females appear very different, physically. No one ever speaks of males and females in regard to the plant kingdom because plants do not show their sexes, except for cannabis. To determine what, what sex a certain normal earthly plant is, you have to look internally at its DNA. A male blade of grass physically looks exactly like a female blade of grass. A hemp plant has an intense sexuality. Growers know to kill the males before they fertilize the females. Yes folks, the most potent pot comes from horny females. The reason this amazing, very sophisticated, extraterrestrial plant from the future is illegal has nothing to do with how it physically affects us. Pot is illegal because billionaires want to remain billionaires. P.S. I think the word drug should not be used as an umbrella word that covers all chemical agents. Drugs have come to be known as something bad. Are you aware there are legal drugstores? Yep, in every city. Unbelievable. Each so-called drugstore should be considered individually. Cannabis is a medicine and not a drug. We should dare to speak the truth, no matter what the law is. Now I have to say, that was a very, very interesting and informative article. Of course, now the, we no longer have medical marijuana being given out to uh, sick patients due to the uh, recent Supreme Court ruling, which is in itself, of course, horseshit. They would rather have these people get blasted with radiation than just to sit down and puff on a joint. And of course, that's that's all engineered to be that way so they can put these chemotherapy patients back onto the cancer drugs and just keep them in a cycle of pill popping for the rest of their life. But we all know that, don't we, folks? That'll wrap up this segment. 